Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amanda, aka Fit Food AE. And today it's gonna be a little bit of a different video. We're actually not making a recipe. Shocker. Instead, I'm gonna be going to the grocery store and getting a bunch of low calorie slash diet snacks that I haven't tried before and then rating them for you guys. So it's gonna be super fun to film. I've done a few rating and reviewing videos in the past, which I'll link up here. But yeah, I feel like I'm a bit picky. Usually in every batch, there's like a few that I like and then the majority of them I don't really like and I make a lot of really funny faces. So you guys should be super excited to watch this video. As always, please give this video a like, subscribe and share it with your friends as it really helps the channel. And without further ado, let's get started. So on my way to the grocery store, probably just gonna go to like the health food section and then maybe I'll stop by like an actual health food store in the mall. So I'll show you guys what I get. Okay, so I'm back and it's time to try out the snacks. So first up we have these Good Bite Minis by the brand Sunripe. So basically there are these like little chocolate orange snack bars. So they have 100 calories each. Oh, so they're actually like snack bites. They're not like one big snack bar, but either way, um, 100 calories, three grams of fat, two protein and 16 carbs. So let's see what these look like. These look pretty good. So there are these like little chocolate bite things. Let's see what they taste like. Um, these taste really, really gross. Like I don't even know how to describe it. It tastes like really, really bitter chocolate with like a slight aftertaste of orange. It does not taste like the Terry's chocolate orange at all. I mean, I wasn't necessarily expecting that, but I wasn't expecting something as bad as this. What would I rate this? Maybe like, maybe a four, four out of 10. Okay, so next up, we have Smart Sweets. So I've only tried like the Bigfoot Smart Sweets and I didn't really like it because it kind of got stuck in my teeth. Um, apparently they've like, updated the um, flavor or ingredients since then. And I haven't tried these flavors, so we're gonna give them a chance. This one is the cola gummies, so. Oh yeah, and it has, for the entire bag, 130 calories, 40 grams of carbs, no fat, no protein. The amount of fiber, it has 17 grams of fiber, that's insane. what they look like but no these taste weird as hell and they're stuck to my teeth i mean i don't know i don't know if i was expecting anything great out of these but i have high hopes for the sour watermelon one i'm hoping that it's actually sour this one has the same macros as the other ones so 130 calories and 40 grams of carbs. So, see these look better. This is what they look like. Mmm. So this is good. It doesn't get stuck in your teeth as much as the other one. It tastes really, really sweet. It doesn't taste like fake or anything like that. Like this is great. I'm gonna keep this around and eat the rest later. So what would I rate these? I'd rate this eight out of 10, and these like a three out of 10. So now we got these garden veggie puffs. So I've tried veggie straws before. I have not tried veggie puffs though. I have high hopes for these. So these are the white cheddar flavor. They're baked, never fried. 240 calories for 50 grams, 240 calories. 30 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and four grams of protein. 
Smells really good. Oh my God. This is what they look like, these little puff things. Mmm. I could keep eating and eating this, so good. I like these, like, I could probably like eat the whole bag in one sitting, watching The Bachelorette tonight. Maybe I'll do that actually. But um, they're really light and airy, but I really like the white cheddar flavor. They taste really, really good. I would give them like 8.5 out of 10. So next we've got these cookies and cream Kellogg's crisps. So I've tried the berry ones before, but I was intrigued when I saw the cookies and cream ones. Like I've never tried this flavor. So they are for two crisps. So like one package, 100 calories, one gram of protein, two grams of fat, and 20 grams of carbs. Look like. Let's try it out. I feel like this is the OG like dieting snack. This is what it looks like. I like this. I feel like I always do that hand wiggling thing when I like something, but I like this. It's really sweet. Um, the entire pack is 100 calories, which is really good. You know, if you're in a calorie deficit, it kind of gives you like a lot to eat. It has this little like, like it has a bit of filling, not really a lot, but it makes sense. And there's like a chocolate drizzle on it. I would rate this a nine out of 10. I really liked it. So next we're gonna try a couple of the frozen things that I bought. These are called Dream Pops. They are plant-based. This flavor is Chocolate Lion. Um, there's 80 calories per Dream Pop. Dream Pops, I don't know if see. So these have 80 calories, six grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and zero grams of protein. So, this is what it looks like. It's kind of cute. I guess we'll just bite into it. I hope I don't get a brain freeze. Okay, I'll give it like one more chance. I, I don't know. This tastes like dirt like i don't even know i don't know how to describe it like i was waiting for like a chocolatey aftertaste but it just didn't really happen um there are a lot of like vegan desserts that taste great but this one is just not it like it kind of tastes like unflavored ice i would give it like a four out of ten but i mean i don't know it's a good size and it's vegan. So I mean, some people might like it, just not me. <laughs> Next, we've got these firecracker popsicles. So these are 50 calories per popsicle. I feel like these are a classic. I don't think the, I don't think they're usually 50 calories. I think maybe this is like a smaller version of the normal one, but let's see how it tastes. So this one's gonna taste fruity. I guess, unlike the other one that was supposed to taste like chocolate, but didn't really. This is what it looks like. You know what? This is good. Like it was exactly what I expected. Um, it's really, really sweet, which I like. And it, it almost tastes like creamy. Like it tastes a lot creamier than the other one. Yeah, this is really good. Like if you like fruit flavored things and you just want something sweet at the end of the night, this is great if you're in a calorie deficit. I would give this like a 7.5 out of 10. I'm, I'm a little hard on my ratings, but yeah. We got Skinny Pop, except these are cinnamon and sugar mini cakes. I've never tried these before. Of course I've tried Skinny Pop before, but I've not tried the mini cakes. So, okay. I have high hopes for these. 
this is what they look like. I think I need a couple more to judge. Um, I don't know. These aren't sweet enough for me. Like there's not enough cinnamon sugary coating. I would prefer if it was sweeter and there was like more coating, but I understand, um, you know, because it's like a diet food, of course. Um, oh, I forgot to say the nutrition fact. So for 11 of them, 15 grams, 60 calories, 10 grams of carbs, one gram of protein and 1.5 grams of fat. Um, if you're the kind of person who cares about like a short list of ingredients, there's only like five ingredients. So that's always good. Um, I give these like a six out of 10. They're nothing special, but I feel like a lot of people would like them. So we only have a couple more left. This is super random. So these are like Revita, I don't know, that's the brand, I guess. Um, thins, so three cheese flatbread thins. And for three of them, there's 90 calories, two grams of fat, one gram of fiber, and four grams of protein. So look pretty good. This is what they look like. I either do like the hand shaking thing or the head nod. Okay, these are great. They would taste so good with hummus. They're so flavorful. They have like the crispy cheese on it. Like they're nice and thin, like the macros are good. These are really, really good. I would probably give it like a nine out of 10, honestly. And finally guys, we have one more. So I forget what they're called a lot of the time because there's like a long name. But anyway, these are golden baked extra exquisite, exquisite, I don't know. Uh, smoky BBQ. Like it doesn't even say what it is. It doesn't even say like crackers or like chips or whatever. But yeah, they're basically like baked chips, I guess. You smell good. Oh, this is not, <laughs> this is not what I was expecting them to look like. So they're like very, very small. Damn, I know it says enlarge for size, but like that is so misleading. I don't know. Anyway. Um, I mean, it says bold, intense flavor. I don't really think that's the case. Like their barbecue flavor like isn't as intense as I would like it to be. Yeah, I feel like this is just like very misleading. For 18 crackers, 140 calories, six grams of fat, 22 carbs and two grams of protein. So the macros are good. Um, I'd probably give these like a 6.5 out of 10. So as you guys already know by the ratings, my favorites today were the cookies and cream crisps, that's what they're called. And then these like three cheese flatbread things. These are really, really good. Hopefully you can find them at your local grocery store. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, if you like this video, I'm sure you're gonna like my other review videos, including the one I did with Christina. That one was hilarious. So take a look at the videos that are gonna pop up on the screen. And as you guys know, if you're subscribed, I mainly make recipe content. So high protein, low calorie recipes. Be sure to check out all the other videos on my page as well. And please give this video a like, subscribe and share it with your friends as it really helps the channel. And with that, I will see you guys next week. Bye.